there. I have a thrift haul from Deseret from today. We ran out there. I got this cool silver plate pitcher. I figure I can use this as a water pitcher. And it's, what brand was it? Oh, gosh. Bought Gotham silver uh, over copper. So it's silver plate. And um, I don't want to blind you. It was a dollar and a half. So I thought it was very pretty. So that's it. Dollar and a half. And. I think this was like 50 cents. It's one of those tavern candles. It's missing the wick, but that's okay. I don't burn these, and it's missing the paper on the bottom. But it's a nice shape for as old as it is. It's got nice iridescent turkey. That's fun. I thought, this is a pose doll. I usually don't buy these, but this is a nice one from Japan. Oops. It was two dollars. I think it says made in Japan. Oops, on the bottom. Yeah. Just you know, there's people that collect these big eye things, and this is a this is a particularly cute one. That's got a nice outfit, and it's not all screwed up and faded and dirty. So she looked good. got this cup because I like the shape. I'm going to use this in my Keurig. I run hot water through my Keurig <clears throat> after I make a cup of coffee just to keep it clear. And this was only 50 cents. It's a Krispy Kreme cup and I thought it was kind of nice. Got a good shape. Needs cleaning, but for 50 cents, that's good. Yeah, what's this? Oh, this is cute. This was a dollar and a half. This looks like somebody made it. And I just think it's really, really sweet. Look at it, it'll be cute here with these guys. It's like the weird lettering, and you know, I like it, it's cute. And, got this vase, <coughs> it's galvanized, and it's got this birch. Is this real? I guess it is real. It's got birch bark, it was a dollar. You, know, you can either use this as a vase, or you can put lights in it, and it's just kind of pretty. And it's real bark on it, so that's kind of cool. So that was a dollar. This is a Sonia Kashak. Where does it say on here? Oh, it's probably hard to say. Oh, it's backwards, too. But it's a Sonia Kashak brush holder, and it was 75 cents. And it's, it's um, acrylic. So that was kind of nice, and it seems to, appears to be a nice shape. So that was a fun find. You know, I have some stuff wrapped up here. They had a bunch of these old made in Japan banks from the 60s. This one actually feels like it's made out of ceramic. The other ones were made out of like paper mache layers, and so they got dinged up really bad. They were in just too rough a shape for me to tackle, so this was only a dollar. And it has the Paper Made Japan sticker on it. So if somebody's a Virgo, they're going to love this. Look how cute she is. Mm -hmm. Mr. Retro's got himself a shirt. This is a Docker shirt for five dollars. What a deal. And got some. These look like really nice tea lights. They're nice and thick. They, can, they might be scented. I'm not sure. It's a dollar and a half. Yeah, I think they're scented. But we go through a lot of those. This is a weird thing. This is a Jonathan Adler giant eraser. Ew. It's a big elephant. It's probably all rubber. I probably shouldn't even be touching it. I'm allergic to rubber. But I thought it was kind of neat. Where is it from? What year is it from? Oh, Lifeguard Press. Yeah. No date. Oh, but it's cute. Big, big orange elephant. Let's get something wrapped up here, too. 
Don't remember what it is. This is another shirt Mr. Retro's got. Oh, Mr. Retro's got this that goes in your candlestick holder thing. And you put a <coughs> votive or a tea light in there. These were hard to find. Now we're seeing a few here and there. But, so this was 50 cents. And he got this real wild print shirt. It's a Ralph Lauren chaps, five bucks. That's a nice shirt. Mm -hmm. Nice. And I got this was $1.50. I just thought it was really cute. It's one of those fur wreaths. And it's got a heart so you could use it for Valentine's if you wanted to. Or for Christmas. I just thought it was very sweet. And there's no mark on it. I don't know where it's from. I don't recognize it, but it's kind of nice. It looks like something from Hobby Lobby, actually. So, I don't know. And this guy, I love this. I love metal, old, rusty metal stuff, especially toolboxes. This was a dollar. Oh, it was a dollar. I thought it was four dollars. Good gosh. And see, it's good. I don't know what this yeah, is. Rotary, rotary hammer. hammer. What's that, a tool thing? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And um, it's got, look at it, it even has a little tag thing here. I just love it the way it is. And the inside is extra good. See, it's all rusted and paint missing. And I take these and I use them in my decor. Uh, they're especially cute down at the beach place. I'll put like a string of white lights in there or some little um, candles or stick things or you can have linens coming out of it. There's just a myriad of things you can do with this beauty. Or you can just set it like that. But I kind of like them propped up in action. So I was very excited to find this. A guy was carrying it around and he wouldn't set it down. So I nabbed it. And I'm going to show you my mantle thing I made. <coughs> I made this garland for my mantle with jute string from the dollar store and the little styrofoam ball sets. There's two, two packages of this regular plain old styrofoam balls and some jute and then a string of those battery operated wire fairy lights. I just wound it around and it's on a timer and it'll go on whenever I tell it to. So I just think it adds a little something cute that's not too seasonal and it's sort of wintry. And then I loaded my china cabinet. I don't know if you can see it. Finally got my china cabinet in here loaded with all my Royal Copley wear. Most of it's Royal Copley and then I have some nice 40s and 50s Asian ceramic wear which I really like. There's, they have a lot of nice style to them. And I've just picked these up over the years here and there. Yeah, most of these are Royal Copley. The florals, the banana prints, the fish. I like the fish. I like the fish better than the ivy, but, and then up on top is just a Venetian blind lamp that we got in Wenatchee, no, Cashmere, Washington, didn't we? Yeah, Cashmere, mm -hmm. Washington at the Antique Mall. Yeah. And these are vintage chartreuse Gu Asian guys. Guys. Little guys. Oh. So, that's my story for today. <laughs> Somebody's going to start barking. So I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.